you know, I'd started composting a few years before we started Grass Valley Farms. You know, I didn't know the quality of my compost. I didn't know what I was making, but I knew that when I applied this to a plant, it tended to grow better. And so I chose to learn uh, as much as I could about making compost, took the, you know, the soil food web school courses, tried to research, read books and come up with a plan. A lot of the original motivation was because of the exorbitant cost of fertilizer. You know, I got this place and, you know, I had six months to figure out how to make it make money. And so how do you do that? Do you continue going down the rabbit hole of application of conventional fertilizers? Or do you try to build something more resilient and that can be sustainable over the long term? And everything pointed to biological farming and letting biology release the nutrients in the soil for your plants rather than supplying your plants with those nutrients that all come at a cost. And that cost, of course, is dollars and then potential degradation to your land. We make compost initially in a, what I would call like Dr. Elaine's hot compost method. So um, putting it in, rotating it through three times, getting full heating through, and then once that's completed, we store everything for a period of time in the Johnson Sioux bioreactor method. So, you know, in our barn right now, we have three years worth of compost, and uh, we're using it for different purposes. So our newest compost that's a, a year old, um, which is a pretty balanced compost, you know, one-to-one -one fungal to bacterial, but we use that compost for seed inoculation, in furrow application, things that we're doing that are going in the ground now. We do a lot of bale grazing on the ranch, and so one of the issues we had was how do we get rid of this chaff or leftover hay material in our, in our hay fields that we need production to come right back as soon as the weather changes. And so we have a very fungal dominated compost that we apply to that. And what we found is that's a really easy way to clean up your fields in the springtime. And so we'll do heavy applications of a fungal dominated compost for that specific reason. The third one we keep is stuff that's been around three years and it's super carbon dense. And so if we have an area that needs more carbon in it, then we'll apply it that way. So movement to compost is expensive. I mean, it's really hard to sprinkle a small amount of compost and get it evenly distributed across your field and it takes a lot of it to make it noticeable. But when you make an extract and you suspend this biology in a liquid form, it gives you a lot more options on how to get it in the field. Your applications are even, equipment is, is smaller and cheaper. It's really the only way to do it.